Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Insomnia Campbell, and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy Dream Weaver series. Now, I just, um, just finished off my last episode of running around in the Skelos Badlands like a chicken without a head, or a, a bat cat without wings. I imagine they'd run around pretty frantically, if that was the case. I imagine anyone would, if they were to be de-winged. Uh, <laughs> But yes, hopefully everything's working now. I was having some sound issues again, so hopefully it's all cleared up now. But anyway, today I thought we'd do Fracture Hills, because I thought it'd be a fun level to, to blitz through. Um, and it's one of those levels I can't complete until much later anyway, so I don't have to do too much in it. Um, I am like... Yeah. Sound issues. Awesome. Cool stuff. So weird. It's just the scenes that it's having issues with. Um, anyway, I'm having to do a bunch of speed videos because I might be unavailable soon, so that will be interesting. Fawns are so much fun. Got some good music. Mmm, boom. Wow. Intense. Who knew music could be so devastating? Thank you for releasing me, Thank you for releasing me Spyro. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Did I call them fawns? Sorry, these are satyrs. Pretty sure the fawns are the females, right? Pretty sure so, yeah, what's up? Hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could Stop. take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Dang, Spyro's got it going on with the fawns, man. Ay, oh, caramba, eh? Man. Laura has to up her game because it's getting hit on. Woo! Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Woo! I mean, it's probably Spyro because he's just a hot, flamey boy. But hey, hey, yeah. Mr. Trees. Mr. Shrubby. Shrubby Shrimps. Can't remember what I called them in the live stream. What I call them? Shrubby. Something. I don't know. It's this. It's this. The suck ship. Yep. Wow. Good job. Well done, Anvil. That was an impressive burn. I should stop now. I, oh, hey. Whoa, man. Sneak up on me like that. Oh, doing me a heckin' heart attack. Doing me a fright. I don't preach. Please stop. Yes. You know, I actually rather enjoy this level. It's so much fun. I've gotten better at the Alchemist Challenge quite a bit, so. That's always nice. It's always nice when you get good at a challenge that is very difficult to overcome. One that is uh, <laughs> despised by the, the wider community of the of Spyro spans. Yes. In saying that, I might fail. But we won't be doing it this episode because in order to do Hunter's Challenge, you have to have the head bar. In order to get to Hunter's Challenge, you have to do the, the Alchemist. And unfortunately, the game doesn't remember you doing challenges, because you can go back to any level at any point and redo it all. Do all the challenges, at least. Can I flame the bees? I don't know if I can. I can do that, at least. Um, but and it neutralizes the dragons, uh, the bees for some reason. But yeah, so if I do it now, I just have to do it again anyway, and it just seems pretty unproductive and uh, a poor use of my time. My finite time on this earth. <laughs> on this earth, of, on this in this realm of recording, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to get philosophical on y'all. That's not why we're here, or is it? Maybe it is. <laughs> it's like why are we here, just to suffer. <laughs> All right, get some beautiful gems, some beautiful tunes. Even the livestock are dancing. Now there is only one Seater left to rescue. You're welcome, Seater. Hello there, little diggy. How are you today? I'm Spyro the Dragon. And I'm here to save lives and kick ass. Ouch, and I'm almost out of lives to save. So there's nothing left to do but kick ass. Hey, hey girl, hey. Perhaps you can help. 
Spinner. That's a cool name. In this room and lost the key. Oh no. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Well, you just found one, so I can't imagine it'd be that hard. And by the recommendation, I'd say it was a difficulty of four stars. That's how hard it is to find them. Let's see. Don't seem to be trying very hard to rescue your friend. Love how you're just having a ball in time and she's trapped. Though she seems to be having a good time too, so maybe it's not as all bad as it seems. But also, 28 lives. Pretty sure I currently have 28 lives on the live stream of Spyro 1 as well. Now, I've got to be very careful. Those guys can do double whammies. You know, they get close to them and they smack you into the lava. And then you get burned on the butt. And the game just loves to count both of them. And that's really sad. So, you got to be very careful. And unfortunately, I have to kill these guys because I feel very bad. They just seem, they kind of seem possessed. And it's really sad because it's its much like when, um, in video games, especially like Skyrim and stuff, when you, whoa, hey, when you raise the dead, they often say thank you once you've killed them, once you release their souls from that binding. They're very happy that they, they get to rest again. And I feel like a similar thing is happening here, except they're dead. So whilst they're grateful that they've been released from this, the spellbind, I've also just murdered them. In cold blood. Or, in this case, hot lava. But I do need their spirits. Ooh, ow! Oh, sorry, I gotta take the score. Alright, so, very important call, but I'm back. Um, but I do need to finish this recording very quick. Hey! Spit me out! You do not know where I've been. You might have coronavirus, my guy. You silly bush. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I don't. I don't feel like that's an uncomfortable joke to make. Anyway, 17, baby. 17 lives. Oh yeah, St. Paddy's Day. And this is like Scottish music, so close. I mean, I imagine lots of Irish and Scottish people get very offended. Like, we're not the same. You're not. You're right. I'm sorry. This should not have made that reference. Or that connection. Yes, okay, Satan. Anyway, let's go. Um, but is the charge done? Yeah, it's done. Alright, cool. Let's see if I can do this first try. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Almost failed immediately. Um, no, I can't. Yeah, I can never do it the first try. I can never do it because the adjustment for it is takes a couple seconds. And just breaking through really puts you off. So if I can do this. I might not, no, I, I don't think I have time to try for the skill point. I'll free the chick, free the fawn, and then we'll, and then we'll, um, get that talisman. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, perfecto. First try, baby. Didn't break a sweat. You broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. You're welcome, Krista. Please, take it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. A token of gratitude, eh? Aha, uh -huh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Anyway, let's go t uh, check out the temple, like I was very uh, persuasively asked to to do. Yes. Hey, girl, what up? Oh, hi, dragon boy. You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor help as this for me. No, that's okay. I got a thing with Krista. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. It's all anyway, good. the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. So did you put up all the rocks? That's pretty intense, man. Good on you, I think. But thank you for the talisman. I guess that's a token of gratitude as well. So, uh, cheers, Sheila. But you're not my Sheila. No, you're not. No, that's until Spyro 3. Hey, can you... Stay with me, please. Thank you. Thank you, sound. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is done. I know there's lots to do in that level still, but unfortunately, I must leave it here. At least after until this little audio-less skit is done. Which is a shame, because there's music in this one, and you can't hear it. I mean, you can hear it, because I've edited it. And it's fine now. Yeah, see? They're definitely under a spell of some sort, because now they've got green eyes. That's so sad, you have to do heckin' murders on those dude. dudes. That's quite heartbreaking. I just realised I don't do this much. Probably because the cutscenes are so quick, on the PS4 they load forever. But on PC it's just go in there and it loads. Just like that, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this really fast episode. I'm so sorry I had to cut it short, but... I've got some things to do. In IRL. So, uh... 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Until then, have a good day, have a good night. Good night. La 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 la. Bye bye.